Hello everybody, Bill Thornton, SoCal Saber. How are you all doing today? Thanks for stopping by for spinning number 40. That's <clears throat> where so I get to talk a little bit about the music that I listened to this week on my vinyl albums and music CDs. Uh, it was a pretty interesting week. And I'm going to get, a, get us started here <clears throat> with one that I picked up on Whatnot a while back, but I haven't had to listen to it yet. And this is The Firm, by The Firm. This was a 1985 release by Paul Rogers and Jimmy Page and two other gentlemen, uh, <clears throat> the British rock band. You know, and they had uh, so a little bit of Led Zeppelin sounding in them and everything in that, but uh, <clears throat> radioactive. It... Uh, <clears throat> Did pretty well on the charts, number 15 and number 17 on the different billboard charts. And uh, <clears throat> the fun, funny thing was is that this, uh, this, this is what, the one I was going to say that about. Right? The song Radioactive, top billboards, top 100 tracks for charts for one week. <clears throat> they did uh, one of the old old songs by the you lost that loving feeling all right and then uh, had a nice inner inner <clears throat> so it was a nice under that they only put out two albums. And it was on the <clears throat> typical. Look like it looks like it's black. That actually, this is green. I'm gonna try something with the lighting to see if that changes it. Let's see if we can do this. See if you can see green now. Oh yeah, funny you see black, huh? Is that part of this actually green and red, and then on the back of the label? We got the firm. Pretty cool. So that was the firm's first record. Their first studio album. They only, they only released two of them, I believe. So that was the firm, by the firm, in 1985. <clears throat> Coming up next in the album list. These are all new ones. I got this one. Uh, these are all new ones from what not. Relatively new from what not. This is a a Japanese release. State of Confusion by the Kinks. 1983 it was the 20th studio album by the English rock group. The album itself was a major success, peeping at number 12 on the Billboard album charts. The album was certified gold in Canada in August of 83. And you see it's got the OB here. <clears throat> Picture on the back. And then we have the... Uh, The inner with the, we got the English lyrics on one side, and we have Japanese on the other side. State of Confusion by the Kings. Good stuff. I enjoyed this one. Arista. Really nice. You can see on the vinyl how nice the vinyl is. You don't see any scuffs or anything on it. All 
Alright, so that was State of Confusion, the 1983 Japanese release of the, the by the Kinks. Okay, moving on. Uh, it was a relatively new one. I uh, a while back ago, maybe a month or so ago, I did I, I I introduced you to an album that had a lot of Tom Petty sound to it by the Dirty Noob Knobs. Well, this one here is their third album, but they've changed their name. It's to Mike Campbell and the Dirty Knobs now. Vagabonds, Virgins, and Misfits. <clears throat> a lot of blues, a lot of country in here. And as I said, said early once before, uh, Mike Campbell, he was part of, uh, oh my goodness gracious, Mud Crutch, which was one of Tom Petty's original albums, and he was part of the Heartbreakers, so he does have that good, some good old Tom Petty sound in there, but it's blues in that very good album. I picked this up on Amazon. This is their most recent reel on. Nice inner. Nice label's got their name on it. Good addition, good addition. Oh, the first one turned me. It comes in it comes nice, nice protective poly sleeve. Yeah, the first album I really liked is, is, okay, they only put out three. I'm going to get the, no, the most recent one added into the collection there. <clears throat> then there's another one. This next one, I got from Whatnot, but I got it free. Occasionally, uh, Whatnot, who, who, the presenters or the sellers do uh, random <clears throat> giveaways. I got this one in the giveaway. And it come. <laughs> Pretty dim, pretty dinged up. I'll, I'll show it to you here in a second. Okay, this is uh, naturally a 1970 Three Dog Night album. Well, this whole album has been taped, put around, put down here in the bottom and everything. So if anybody's looking for some good stuff, this is not the way to go. All right. But anyway, free is free, right? I didn't even have to pay for shipping on it. I graded it just a G, which is bad. On the cover, and the, med the media got a VG. It was the fifth element by the American rock band. Two top ten hits, Joy to the World, which was number one in February 71, and Liar, <coughs> number seven. One Man Band reached the top 20, number 19. The only original by the band is the instrumental Fire Eater. But like I said, the vi the vinyl was in pretty in, pretty, in fair, pretty fair shape. Fair shape. That's why I rated it VG, not VG plus or anything. <clears throat> and it comes on a Dunhill label. So it's in pretty good shape. You can see it's been played a lot, but you don't see any scratches or anything. <clears throat> so nice addition for free. You know, you can't ask for a lot when you get something for free. As long as it, the music plays good, that's the end, end to the addition. Okay, so now it was time to go over to CD. So I went to the first thing I did is I, I had been looking, <clears throat> and I still have it on my list to get the uh, album Rising by Rainbow. I can find it in places, but it's more than what I want to pay for it, too. So what I did was I picked up Five original albums by Rainbow in this set. Rising's not in it, but I wanted to get Rainbow into the collection because I didn't have anything else by them. 
So the first, and I listened to the very first album in in it this week, and this is <clears throat> called Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Okay, the the uh, original album came out in 1975. This is a 2011 set reissue with the five albums. The, <clears throat> the original album was the debut studio album by the American British rock band Rainbow released in 75 <clears throat> it's funny the lineup for this uh, album which is pretty good I really enjoyed this album uh, never performed it live because following the release of the album one one of the guys quit the other, two other guys got fired and it just left Richie Blackmore and uh, Dio So that was kind of strange, all right? Oh, Man on the Silver Mountain, I remember that. Black Sheep of the Family, Shaker Charmer, Temple of the King. Some good stuff on this album. <clears throat> you like rock, an old rock, Rich, Richie Blackmore, Dio, Dio's on the vocals. Check it out on your local streaming channels. You'll probably like this one. And then, the number 15, since that, there was a new CD in there, only got one of the old CDs out. Number 15, which a month or two months ago, maybe three months ago, I played this as, a, as the, in the album, the vinyl. This is Fleetwood Mac's Greatest Hits. And I did listen to this whole thing. I really, really liked it. The CD is from 1988 covers the period of the band's greatest commercial success from the mid-70s mid to the late 80s. 16 songs, including two new ones, As Long As You Follow, was released as a single to promote the album, and no questions asked. The album has proven to be a major success for Fleetwood Mac in its different formats. It uh, reached number 14 on the Belbo's 200. It's really stole eight times platinum, shipping eight million copies <coughs> to the U.S. That is pretty crazy. Lots and lots and lots of good tunes. <coughs> the, uh, there's a little book on it. Oh, we're not going to see too much. Let's see. We get back here a little bit. A lot of text on both pages. And it comes on the green, which shows up black. That is really strange how the green shows up black under this lighting. But, so be it. Uh huh. There's the back. And then we got the glare from the plastics. Now, I finished this week up, went back to the my album collection, the ones that have been in the collection for a long time, pulled out the next one in the collection, and I was kind of surprised what it was. <clears throat> this was, this is, The Greatest Hits by Helen Reddy. This is from 1975. It's a compilation, an album by the Australian-American pop singer Helen. Debuted on the Billboard's top LPs and tapes charts for the issue dated the day following the gold certification. It made it to the <clears throat> number five during its 51 weeks on the charts. Now, why did I buy this? I don't know. There's, there's some good songs on here that I like. You know, like well, her big hit was the opener on this one, I Am Woman. That was, that woman power was going crazy at that time. And then, uh, let's see what else. I Don't Know How to Love Him. Uh, Leave Me Alone. Ruby Red Dress. Delta Dawn. You and Me Against the World. Angie Baby. God, she had a lot of good hits. Why did I buy it? I don't know, it's not something that I normally wouldn't be 
maybe up my alley. So I was trying to think, 1975, where the heck was it? I was in Korea. All right, so did I like it? Or did my Korean wife like it? I don't know. But I played it. I enjoyed hearing those songs again. It's been a long time since I heard them. See, it's in pretty good shape for an album that's almost 50 years old. So that was uh, Helen Reddy. Okay, so that was my week, my music for the week. I hope you enjoyed this little review. Let me know. Put some remarks down there in the, in the uh, down below. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and you know, uh, hit that hit that like button. This is uh been a night been a good week let me know if you have any of these if you do which ones did you like the best if you have heard them at all so again thank you very much for stopping by socal saber saying take care of yourselves be kind to each other and stay safe.